Heat 5 onto track. The Isle of Wight Islanders will be looking to their weak link here, Ricky Mullins, to come up with something. He really did struggle in heat number two. It's not a circuit he's particularly favoured in the past here at West Row. Failed to score here in 2009. 22-year-old made his debut with Sittingbourne, in fact, back in 2008. And he's ridden solely for the Isle of Wight since then. Bobbed in and out of the team, to be truthful. Initially riding as a number eight, but now he's in the full septet. Struggled with the Islanders last season, to be fair but has showed glimpses of ability. Certainly was fast enough out of the traps in heat number two to cause some trouble on the opening lap or so. After that, though, in the restaging, unfortunately came to grief and wasn't really involved in the action. On the inside of him here, Joe Jacobs, he certainly has been involved in the action so far. Winner of heat number three in a pretty respectable time. His partner here, Lewis Blackbird, packed in for a 5-1 in that third race. One that brought the scores all level for the Venn Tigers. Off the outside start position in white, it's Nick Simmons. A paid win for him in his first ride. So three unbeaten riders. A bit of a daunting prospect, no doubt, for Ricky Mullins in here as the rider replacement rider off gate two in yellow. Just waiting for Simmons to come into line now, which he does off the outside gate. We'll be ready to go for heat number five. The starting marshal now moving away then. And into the first turn, they charge with Jacobs hitting the front. Blackbird around the outside. It's good for the Fen Tigers. It's very good. Simmons trapped in third place. Blackbird makes a mistake there on the third turn. Holds on to the machine, but Simmons will storm through coming out of the fourth bend. And now looks up the inside of Joe Jacobs. Jacobs has covered that well. Blackbird comes back around the outside. Jacobs is slow on the inside line. It's giving Blackbird a route back through around the outside. Three abreast coming out of the fourth bend. Simmons comes through up the inside. They're still level into the first bend. And Blackbird has found a way into the front. Lewis Blackbird with some awesome bravery. A lap around the outside of two other riders. But now he's made a mistake again. And Nick Simmons comes through. Blackbird on the outside. Simmons on the inside. And Blackbird just about powers past again. Turns three and four for the final time. Which of these two is going to win the drag race to the line? It's Simmons, it looks to be. That was a tremendous race in heat number five. Three abreast, as I said, at one stage. And somehow, Lewis Blackbird, well, he kept surprising his opponent there by coming again on the outside line. Simmons seemed at stages there to think he had that one sewn up. But Lewis Blackbird kept getting involved in a race to the line. And finally, well, that was a tough one to call in the run down to the finish. The Isle of Wight Islanders, though, providing plenty of surprises. Their two main heat leaders in particular, Nick Simmons and Danny Warwick, providing plenty of entertainment and the fastest winning time so far by Danny Warwick earlier on. So very much the competitive side that many people weren't predicting ahead of this match. The Isle of Wight Islanders are providing a bit of a shock.